See Designs. Hey, I want to start off talking about uh, this just absolute massive storm system out here in the western Pacific. Uh, to give you an idea of where this is, Philippines, Taiwan, uh, Guam, which is a U.S. territory, by the way. Let's not forget that they actually were uh, severely impacted by this storm system earlier this week. And if you are uh, going to meteorology school, let's say, and you open up a synoptic textbook and it says turn to what a category five storm looks like, this is what's going to be on the uh, page there. Just clear to find eye outflow buzzsaw shape uh, pressure in this, according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, got down to 897 millibars. Now I want to point this out because that would put it if it was in the Atlantic in the top five strongest storms ever recorded in the Western Pacific. These storms out here are just on a different level, barely cracks the top 50 uh, and going to continue to maintain that strength. Now I, I point out the track here. It's going to move north to east of the uh, Philippines, Taiwan, but Okinawa, where we have thousands of US military service members out there, Air Force, Navy. I even uh, pulled into port there a few times uh, during my stint out in the Western Pacific with the uh, Navy. Uh, they're going to be in and possibly the fire line of this storm. So you got any friends or family out there in that corner of the world? You know, just let them know you're thinking about them with this storm as it continues to pull off there uh, towards the west and uh, maintaining uh, that super typhoon status, what you call it out there. Hey, uh, back here in the Atlantic, 10% chance of uh, tropical development. This area, I don't expect that to really develop, but it is over warm sea surface temperatures. And, and I point that out because we are starting to head into, of course, hurricane season. The uh, NOAA hurricane outlook has just been released here recently, expecting those about uh, a little bit above average, despite the fact we are in an El Nino right now. Those sea surface temperatures are warm. And remember, we're going to say it over and over again. It only takes one storm. 